so first of all I am so sorry for the lighting the lighting may be a little bit too warm because I had to turn my light on my little lamp on because I'm filming at night and this is my basement so the lighting here is not so good overall but hopefully you guys don't mind and you can actually see what I'm doing so what you would need for this is a hair tie a few bobby pins depending on you'll see throughout the throughout the tutorial on um, what I mean with the bobby pins and I suggest wearing some earrings that dangle if you're wearing studs you know wear some fun ones just so it's not so tidied up so you can wear something like this or you can just wear one on one side whichever side you're gonna have your hair on you can wear the one the on the side that your hair isn't gonna be on wear a big one and then wear a plain stud on the other side and some people ask me like how many piercings I have. I actually have three on one ear. And I have two on this ear. It wasn't a mistake. I intended to do that. I did this in high school and I just wanted to be different. Figure out where you want your split. I want mine on the right, going towards the right side. To you it might be the left, but anyway. Um, you may want to if you have hair like mine, spritz um, some water on the bottom of your hair. Not too much where it's completely wet because that's not good for your hair. Um, tying it up while it's wet and all of that. And moisturize the top. I'm going to use my whatever's left over from my moisturizer from curls.biz. I only have a little bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit left. So I'm going to use that and a little bit of leave-in conditioner. The curl milkshake that I showed you guys from curls.biz. I'm just going to take whatever is left. Whatever is left. I might need more, so I'm just going to probably use some bio silk. And if you have jewelry on, take it off. It's going to feel yucky. So I'm going to apply this mostly in the front. I'm going to take some of my bio silk. This is like oil, but it's very like creamy and moisturizing. So mostly on top of your head. For the top. And we're now going to wet the top because I like the volume to be on top. So no water is going there, just moisturize so it doesn't look dry and too messy, even though this is a messy look. Split my hair in half and apply some water, spritz some water, in, mostly on the ends. If I'm looking this way, it's because that's where my mirror is. Don't apply too much water. Because you don't want it to be... You just want it to be a little, a little more than damp, but not soak and wet. So the, see, my layers are on here, on top. These are my short layers, and I don't want these to be wet. Just the long layers. Because these are the ones that are probably going to come out of the braid. And I want them to look like this if they do come out of the braid. So now the first thing you want to do is start on whatever side you want, but twist your hair, like the front part of your hair, stretch it out like this, and start twisting. But as you twist, you're going to be grabbing hair, like you're braiding sort of, and then grabbing, twisting very tightly because it's going to get very loose later on anyway. So just grab hair and twist. So you already have like, see how you just created this front part twisted? Twist tightly. If I wasn't filming this video, I would put this piece of hair 
in between my lips and my mouth just to hold it and I have lip gloss on so I'm not gonna do that so I twisted it up in a bun and I just pinned it with my um, bobby pin and you're gonna do the same to the other side same thing kind of grab here and twist as you go very tightly you've created this front part twisted you don't need to detangle your hair or anything like that for this because it's gonna be messy so just secure it so that you don't lose that part of your hair and it might loosen up a little now you have this so what you're gonna do is bring all of your hair to this side make sure that this side over here isn't like dry or anything so apply some water and some more moisturizer if you need to and you're going to section your hair evenly in two make sure they're even you don't have to be completely exact but you know pretty much get it oh so this part is going to be hard because you have to keep these a little bit tightened as you braid at the same time so that is the hard part if you have someone to help you great i don't right now so you're not always going to have someone to help you so just unpin your hair where you did your twist so tighten this up not so tight that you can't your head is like hurting or anything you know as tight as you can take it and you're going to just unite it with this but it's still a little twisted this is your second piece and you're going to tighten this up as well and unite it with that piece all to one side before you braid so if you want you can take your little hair tie and tie this up so that you don't lose your twist even though you will a little bit but it'll be okay retwist 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 this one you will have to twist more because it's gonna go around the back of your head so like I said this is going to get very loosened up So twist and this is your second piece right here so you're gonna fish braid this fish tail braid this so remove your tie make sure you're holding on to the hair you have these two pieces right here and with the entire fish tail braid you're going to keep those two pieces you're always going to have two pieces even though you're picking up three you're always gonna end up with two pieces First thing you want to do is twist it once. You can go this way or you can go the opposite way. I am going to bring the back hair and the I mean the front hair to the back like this once. You have these two pieces. You're going to take from this piece over here, you're going to take a piece from this side. like that and it's just like you're making three uh, the regular braid you're going to put that in the middle and unite it with this one so this is how you're always going to end up with two braids do the same on this side take a piece of this side and put it towards the middle Unite it like this with the other piece. And you're always going to have two. Now you're going to do the same. Take a piece from that side and unite it with this piece. Take a piece with this side. And unite it with this piece. And you're just going to go on and on and on like this. And the reason why we're doing a fish tail braid is because when you do a regular braid, being that you have layers, just like me, if you have layers just like me, it will secure the layers in more because you're braiding and twisting more than just doing a regular braid. So it will secure it more so that less hair will come out 
of your braid. You just keep doing that until you have a good amount. This is easier to do on straight hair. If you guys want, I will do this on my straight hair so you guys can see it better. Just keep doing this. So you're always going to end up with two. Like I said, if you guys are not getting it, I'm so sorry, but I can also do another one because it's hard to teach on curly hair. There's so many tutorials on these on YouTube that I didn't even want to do it. I just wanted to show you guys how I do my fishtail braid. So you can like tie it up now over here. You can tie it up now or you can continue a little bit more but I'm gonna so I'm just gonna tie it up and this has like a whole bunch of hair on it already <sighs> Wow so yeah just tie it up now that it's tied up you will have something like this you will be able to see the twist going around here into the braid and the same thing on this side now we're just gonna do a little extra extra thing that being Latina that's things that I like to do to my hair like the baby hair and fixing this over here and the back part just so that it looks messy but still a little bit neat and kind of perfect over here it's gonna drip a little bit so you have to do it quickly spray a little bit on the front and just with your fingers you do this and you can kind of take I have already product from yesterday in my hair so this is why I'm doing this hairstyle I don't do this when I just wash my hair because it doesn't look right so you can just take something like that and moisturize it if you don't have too much product in your hair apply some more conditioner or whatever you want to apply to your hair and with your fingers you don't need anything to do this depending on your hair type again you just do that and do the same to the other side do it quickly because it's gonna start dripping down your face and I already have my makeup on so you're going to take that little piece right here it's getting really slimy from all the product but it's good because that's what's going to create that beautiful curl so now you can see how this is like just going like this all frumpy throughout the day it may come out if you want that messy look you can leave it but I want to I want it to be back so I'm just going to retwist it not touching the braid at all not messing with the braid at all and you can just take your bobby pin so I took the bobby pin secured it on both sides especially on the back because that's where it most likely would fall out of its twist this is why I kind of want extensions because when I do hairstyles like this my hair just ends up being really really short so if, I'd ha if I had like some clip-in extensions or any type of extensions, um, I can just unite it with my hair and it would be like so long and beautiful like Pocahontas. So last step is, see this little curl right here? Wetting this or applying a moisturizer, I'm going to wet it. Wet it pretty much a lot. So by doing that, you will have this... Um, beautiful one curl like that and it looks a little cuter so this is the finished look if you guys like it like it in the bottom subscribe if you haven't and till next time